So in my last video, you saw me um, making a fool of myself playing with those knives. I just had no clue what I was doing. Um, but practice makes perfect, and it helps to have a better knife. Actually, um, I've been practicing my knife sharpening skills, and I got those machetes pretty sharp. In fact, I took one out in the woods um, and harvested some fat wood with one of them. That was pretty cool. I was, you know, I watched a couple videos about how to find it. And through trial and error, you know, um, was able to recognize what to really look for. Not what to sort of look for, but to really look for and to make your harvesting successful. And um, was able to get it out with a machete and uh, brought home a couple cool chunks. One of them is okay, the other one's really good. Like, it smells so much like pine, but to that point that it reminds you of paint thinner. Like, oh, it's almost nauseating. But uh, what a nice piece I found. So my husband blessed me with a Mora knife. Um, really big monkey one, also known as Dave Pearson, I think. Um, he's always talking about how he loves his Mora knives, loves his Mora knives. And we were in Sierra Trading Post. And look, Cookie, if you bite that stick, you're going to knock my phone down. And they, Sierra Trading Post, they had this really nice Mora knife set marked down really, really cheap. I was like, oh my goodness, look at that knife, Cookie. My dog is chewing on a stick holding my phone up. Stop, stop, leave that stick. And <laughs> Come on. Don't bother me when I'm playing with knives. So I got a Mora knife, a bush, a bushcraft Mora knife. I am so excited. Uh, so cool. Look at this. So um, we're gonna practice, and I've got I got another cool toy. <laughs> Um, my husband and I like to hammock camp, and the last time we went camping, it was, uh, it was pretty cold at night, and where we were at, um, it was about, it was in the beginning of September, and it was pretty cold, and we were at a campground, and the fire ring was really, really far away from where the hammocks were, and, you know, we had our underquilts and our tarps and everything, and... And I was like, geez, I really wish that the firing was a little closer to the hammock so that we could make a little fire and have a little heat coming in underneath our tarps. So, you know, you're not allowed to make a fire in the campground unless it's in the fire in, in the fire ring. But you can use a stove wherever you want in your campsite. So check out this little baby that I found. It comes in a nice little canvas bag. Check this out. This is a little, <laughs> it's really little camping stove. I call it a portable fire pit. Okay, granted, it's tiny. Look how little that is. But you know what? If you're really that cold and you're sitting in your hammock, you're going to set this little sucker up, put a little fire in it. And yeah, you may have to get up repeatedly to stoke it some more, but who cares? A little fire is better than no fire when you're cold, right? It comes with a little grill that fits on top, so you can use it for cooking, too. So, we're going to play with that today. It's um, it's a little heavy. It's just, I think I weighed it at like 1.9 pounds. That's not too bad if you're going to take it backpacking. Um, it comes with this little thing to use to to pick up the grate and see what I'm doing here so when it's hot so that's pretty cool and it was very inexpensive I got it for like less than thirty dollars I'm very happy with it we're gonna play with that tonight too um okay let's let's make some feather sticks now watch the dogs and come over and stick her nose right in this so this is the first time I'm using this more a bushcraft knife knife um, uh, all right, let's see what happens here. Hmm. Well, I'm getting curls. 
Oh, one just broke off. Hmm. So I'm not really getting the fire stick thing, the feather stick thing. Maybe I'm trying too hard. I'd like to think the knife would have arrived sharp. Nope. Nope. Oh, here we go. Got a little bit. So this is definitely something that is going to take a lot of practice. And my phone just stopped because the alarm went off. It made the video stop. I don't know why the video doesn't keep going. Alright. Seemed like once I got into the middle of the wood, it was a little easier. Check that out. I got some feathering going on there. You see that? Okay, so we're going to practice batoning a little bit. Um, this stick is too big. I don't have any really good sticks for this. This is way too small. Oh wait, this one looks good. Here's a good stick. Alright, so we're going to try batoning a little bit. So... It's kind of cheating because I got a little crack in this one, but that's batoning. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm an experienced batoner now. Look at that. Boy, it's a lot of hard work, it takes a lot of practice. But we did get a little fire stick. We're going to try making another one on this piece. Just for practice. And we're going to try to light a fire. Okay, so you get the outside off. It seems like it's easier. So let's get the outside off. Hmm. Let's get you out of the way. Oops. Oops. So I'm pretty good at getting curls, but getting a feather stick going just isn't working. My dog is stealing my sticks. Hey, look, I got a little bit going. A little bit. Let's see if we can make a fire at one of these. Okay, so I went out in the woods the other day where there's a lot, a lot of pine trees. And we just, uh, and there's a lot of downed pine trees. And I found one that huge pine tree down on the ground, almost all rotten away, except for these awesome little knots. Look at that color. And um, it just it smells like pine saw, but pine saw and turpentine mixed together. But uh, I'm not sure what to do with this. Might be too small to. I might just whack it with the machete and try to get uh, some pieces off of it because we want to start a fire. Pretty good. Okay, so I have no idea how to get this fat wood processed, but I had this bright idea like I don't want to chop at it because I don't want to lose a finger. So I got the idea of just kind of putting the knife here and doing kind of a baton type of thing and get little shavings off. And it's kind of working. Incredibly time consuming. But I guess if you're stuck out in the woods and you're freezing to death, doing this can save your life because so you can make a fire. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Look at that color.
So this is kind of working. I'm actually getting shavings off of there that are pretty nice. Hopefully we can make, make some fire with it. Cookie's learning how to process wood too. Check her out. Yeah. Now you gotta chew that up into little bits for me so we can set it on fire. Yeah. <laughs> My husband's practicing too. He's got himself a new knife. Show off your knife, honey. Got himself a little, little, little knife. <laughs> this is going on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> I told him to put the end of it on the ground. He wants to do it his way. Well, it's on the table. <laughs> it on the ground because the table's touching the ground. <laughs> Cookie's making shavings for us to use, so they're not curls, but. I'll set them on fire and she spits them out. <laughs> okay, so we've been playing with the ferro rod, trying to get a fire started in my little fire pit. And sparks, no flame. I don't know how you guys do it. Try something a little different. Really? Nope, nothing. I can smell it. It's trying to light. I'm going to try doing it in the fire pit again. Because I got fat wood in there, lots of shavings some pine needles, feather curls, and if we were out in the woods, we'd be freezing to death by now. Sparks, no flame. I got a piece, nice piece of fat wood right there too. All right, time to go get a lighter and a cotton ball. Okay, we're gonna try a different power rod. This one came with my Mora knife. I'm gonna try this one. <laughs> Maybe that ferro rod's defunct. They're sparkling. It's like they're getting down there and they're sparkling, but nothing's catching. Oops. I do see a difference in the sparks though, do you? Yes. Yeah, the sparks are in this, uh, bigger and they seem like they're staying longer but I still can't get in any of them to catch. Oh. of them hit this piece of fat wood and they thought they were it was going to catch but nope. Nope. Ugh. 
I'm done. Time to get a lighter. So I picked some of these in my yard. These are really super dry. We're gonna try this ferro rod one more time before we pull out the secret weapon. Smoking. We got some smokage. We got a tiny flame, but it went out. Time to pull out the secret weapon. This is a cotton ball. It's got a tiny, tiny bit of mushroom secret on it. For those of you who don't know, mushroom secret is a wax that you use on doggy's paws in wintertime or summertime. And we have flamage. Let's put some wood on there. Put some of those shavings on there. Go. These bigger things on there. Well, we finally got a fire started, but I had to cheat. All right, you can turn it off. We got a little fire started in my fire box. I like it a whole lot better than that rocket stove. It uh, seemed like it was a little easier to get the fire started inside it and definitely easier maintaining it. You know, you just put some sticks in on the side and feed them up as they burn down. This is nice. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Firebox. Way to go. Thumbs up. Portable fire pit. Pretty cool. Got a nice fire going in it, but we're letting it go out. Um, it was pretty cool. It worked. I got to practice power rod starting now. That was a fail.